Hey guys, this is a new YouTube channel that I just started and what we're going to be covering in this YouTube channel is strictly Autodesk Maya 2015, Autodesk Mudbox 2016, and let's see, we're going to open this up right here. We're also going to be covering, why is it glitched out? Okay, there. we're also going to be using Illustrator 2014, and yeah. I know it says I have a free trial, but I use that because I just upgraded to the CS6 version because I used the CS, CS5. CS Sorry about that. That was my chair. Um, so, yeah, I'm using a 30-day free trial, but don't worry. I'm going to have it for, for a long time. So, I already have Maya preloaded. So, here you go. Oh, this is from the old scene. Delete all that. So we're going to open a new scene. And actually no, we're going to a new scene. We're not going to save anything cuz I messed up last time. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to learn first is how to use the interface. So with just using your mouse and not pressing any keys, you can't do basically jack shit. So what you're going to have to do is hold alt left key to to uh, rotate around the scene like this and you'll be using this for the Y, X, and Z axis and then alt middle key which is the mouse scroll uh, you'll use it to pan around and zoom in basically and uh, alt alt um, right mouse is to zoom in like this but that's kind of a waste of time you could just zoom in with the scrolly key I don't know why they have that feature anyway so what we're gonna do is oh, why is this open okay so what we're gonna do is this is just straight basic stuff so we're gonna learn about polygons we're gonna drag one out over here okay so now we have a polygon and as you see it looks pretty good but when you when you look closely it's kind of jaggedy right so what you're going to want to do is press click on the on your sphere control a and this is your attribute editor you're going to have your your xyz translating language right here uh sorry i say z okay so subdivision access what subdivision access is is basically creating geometry onto your shape to make it more to look more crisp and clean except the only down factor is the most obvious down factor is that you will lose performance because the higher texture and the better texture you have the more performance you lose so we're gonna put 45 and 45 and as you can see why did I do that as you can see it has a lot more geometry on it and if you click off it it looks better and looks more crisp okay so now what we're going to learn is about these tools these are the simplest tools you'll ever use Q you go to your cruiser this is what it is you press W this is your X Y and Z axis kind of rotating it's not rotating it's like panning your your object E this is your like you're moving everything freely oh yeah go back to this you could also move this freely by pressing the middle button and using that button but I don't know that, that's the 2015 version okay so sorry I'm sick right now I had to miss a day of school so what we want to do now is control Z and this is to undo everything instead of just going all the way back up here edit and undo we can just press control Z and uh, so yeah this is how you make a sphere now what we're gonna want to do is use one of our tools which is the next key we're gonna learn about is the R key and this is to squish your geometry if you go up and down and then you could go from side to side you could also go from front to back 
or you can just click the middle one and bring it in and you'll shrink your ball or you can make it really really big it's up to you this is 100% up to you and right now I'm really far away from the object click the object press F on your keyboard and you focus on it so yeah so what we're gonna be doing is making just just free drawing basically like a sketch so let's add another sphere all right as you can see it's very different compared to this one and like talking geometry wise this has a lot of, of geometry and lines to work off this has a little bit so we're gonna add 45 also and on this one on the height 45 also so we're gonna move this up here this kind of reminds me of the spaceship from Star Wars the one that has like um, gunners from the side from the Clone Wars so we'll make shrink this a little bit I'm gonna make this look kind of like a UFO I don't know if it's gonna work exactly alright so look at that kinda looks like a UFO not really but oh well squish that down a little bit so this is very simple anybody could do this and of course if you are a student you can get a license for three years for the very low cost of free and how you may ask you just leave a comment down below and I'll make a tutorial about that so yeah this is how you make a UFO kinda alright the next step is gonna be making textures or adding a texture like a very simple texture so let's start with this let's go here assign new material and this we're gonna want I don't know let's go with blend a very shiny material metallic material we're gonna go here let's just make it as white as possible like not too white just metallic okay this is okay yeah this is how you manage your textures and your materials and your attributes <coughs> so transparency we'll want it opaque as possible how about we make a little red little red would this look good no that looks like crap so we'll go back just leave it like this okay now for this we'll make a window so we'll go here sign new material oh, oops sign new material bring this up over here and we're gonna choose boolean also all right but for this time we're gonna transparency is gonna go not too okay we'll, we'll go back so we're gonna keep it the same except change the color to a light bluish kind of like this and the reason why is because this is gonna be kind of like a window so we're gonna change the transparency not too transparent but just enough and there you go it looks kind of like a window except except there's a uh, quite a it just doesn't look like exactly like a window but you you get the point this this is for beginners this isn't for like top-notch people yet but a kid fix that <clears throat> just leave a comment down below of what you want to see okay so what you want to do is you're gonna want to render this so you go here and for your rendering settings you all you always always want to use the best rendering software you want and the best one render rendering software for Maya 2015 is mental ray but it doesn't come pre-installed you have to 
pre-install that by yourself by adding by looking into your add-ons and basically um, turning it on so what you're gonna want to do is go to window um, settings and preferences preferences go down to actually no this is not the one go to window rendering editors okay wait hold up okay so when here god damn it plugin manager okay sorry about that <laughs> so you go all the way down here and you'll look for maya t o m r dot m l l you'll press loaded and auto loaded refresh and close and you'll have mental ray so you'll go here this is a shortcut by the way you'll go to mental ray you'll set your quality we'll go 1.5 1.25 actually common let's just render this in 720p because I don't want to sit here for a minute close and then let's look for an angle to render this in so as you can see this is the angle that we're going to choose we're going to press this button right here which is the render button you're going to press that and of course depending on how good your computer is it varies on how long the rendering scene will take place this right here took 8 seconds for the render time and it's a 12, 1280 by 720 um, not very crisp because we didn't spend a lot of time on it so this is one frame of course you could animate on this program that's what it's meant to do and right here I have a warning that RGBA underscore H is not directly supported by the image format so I'm gonna have to fix that because that's been going on for a while so I'm gonna have to go into the to my library and fix it but we'll not we'll not do that right now so yeah that was basically how to use Maya for a beginner and make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe and comment on what you want to see next thank you